Hey everybody, so um, I am filming at Miss M's house. I'm back in Vegas, Vegas, but I wanted to film me downsizing my crafting supplies. I need to go through and I've been meaning to go through. I've been meaning to go to a library and sit down and open up everything and um, go through my crafting supplies and get rid of stuff that I'm just not using and rearrange my crafting backpack and my um, electronics backpack. I'm actually considering, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do it because I don't know if it'll work, but I was considering swapping the backpacks. So I'm not sure, we'll see. If the laptop fits in the backpack that I currently use for my crafting backpack, that's gonna be the kicker. If it won't fit because it's kind of a big laptop, um, then it'll have to stay the same, but we'll see. Um, so I'm just going to film that because I haven't put a video up in a while. I know you guys are worried about me. I haven't really been traveling or doing anything that I thought was of significant value to be filmed, but I think you guys just enjoy my everyday stuff. So I've got some plans in the works for different videos. Um, it's going to require me buckling down and getting super serious about this as a job. And it's something I've been wanting to do since the end of last year and just have been kind of lazy lately. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, I do have a hair video coming up um, because I'm going to be doing the whole process of my hair. How I do my hair um, twice a week from the cleansing, conditioning, and twisting it up and everything. How I do that. I also have a tour video coming up of... Um, a uh, Class C. Uh, her name is Crystal as well. And um, yeah, just some couple of little fun videos coming up. They'll be short videos, like 15, 20 minute videos, but they'll be happening more frequently. So, um, and some lives. We have some monthly lives coming up. One that I want to mention that I need to change the date on is the monthly book club live because um, it's supposed to be on the 24th. However, I had the opportunity to go on a little camping trip. And so I'm not going to do the live that day. So we're going to postpone the book club one until the 31st, which is also a Saturday, same time. I'll post all that in the description box. The book club, the book we're reading is The Alchemist. I'll put a link in the description box. You can listen to it on YouTube for free, which is what I'm doing. I didn't buy the book. So if you want to just listen to the audio book, it's really good. I've started it. So back to this video. So this video is a downsizing of my crafting stuff. And let me just show you what I have. I'm just going to turn the tripod. So these are the things I've been carrying around. The two backpacks, the electronic backpacks, which is the black backpack with the red. And the other backpack, which is the crafting backpack, is the red and gray. Those sit in my front turned around passenger seat. And then behind them, I had the crafting bag here. I have some little things that need to go um, probably to the thrift shop or whatever. And then I have um, some items that I want to do some giveaways on sometime soon. So the first thing we're going to do is downsize the crafting stuff. Actually, first I'm going to see if the two backpacks can be reversed. Like I said, it's going to depend on if the computer fits into the crafting bag. So we are going to take everything out of the crafting bag and see if the computer fits in it. It might be tight, which it's tight in that bag that it's already in, but let's see. Okay. So as I said, I wanted to see if the, the um, laptop fit in the other bag. So let's just test that out real quick before I get started with the craft um, downsize. And oh, you know what? It won't fit in there. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So now that I know that won't work, electronic stuff can stay where it is. I'll go through it later and rearrange. I mean, I'll clean it out, clean out the bag. So every so often I like to go through my bag, make sure there's no dust and dirt and scraps of paper especially the crafting bag. And I had done that recently, so this crafting bag is pretty pretty clean. So now, um, these items that I do use fairly frequently, uh, most of them will go back in, 
and then a few of these items that I showed you in the bag. So I'm gonna pull these items out of the bag and just show you what's in here, first of all. So I have a cutting board, which I cut one end off of because it was too um, long. It was, um, I cut it at the 15 and I believe it was 20 something. So I cut it at the 15 because it fit better in the bag that I was previously I'm using as a craft bag. So I have the cutting board uh, and I know I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to just go ahead and put it in. Now this bag is a bag I got from Walmart. It's an Ozark trails bag. Um, I love it because there's lots of pockets. There's a front pocket with a clip here and I think it's for a day pack or a backpacking pa uh, bag. So I love it. So you got this outside pocket here for stuff you want to quickly grab out. There's an itty bitty pocket here for your um, phone or DVD, CD, whatever uh, player, if you want to put that in there, it's up to you. It also has a second pocket here, good size pocket, which has little pockets inside for extra storage. And then the main pocket has another thin pocket here, which is usually where you would put your tablet or laptop or whatever. But as you saw, mine is just not going to fit. It's too wide and it's too tall. And it has a nice padded back and nice padded straps. So, and I want to say it was $25 at Walmart at the time that I bought it. So we know we're keeping the um, cutting board. I use this to cut paper on if I want to um, um, use my, I have a little wheel thing. At least I think I still have that. A little wheel cutter, paper cutter. And I can cut on top of this. Um, if I want to make something out of duct tape, I can lay the duct tape down on this and then score it with my X-Acto knife so I don't mess up any tables at the library or the Starbucks or wherever I happen to be or a friend's house. Uh, the other item I have is my paper cutter. I was able to get this paper cutter for a really good price back when I was doing a lot of paper crafting and journal making. And it's the really pretty decent one from... Uh, I think it was Michael's and I used a coupon to get it because it's not super cheap, not terribly expensive, but on my budget, it was more than I wanted to spend. So it's a paper cutter and it has the arm here, which I'm trying to remember how you open because I haven't used it in forever and ever and ever, but the arm uh, extends out. There you go. The arm extends out. So when you have those paper sheets, they usually come in this size so you can cut it. So, but this is not something that I want to rebuy. So I'm going to keep it. I do have it in one of these two and a half gallon bags. And the reason I do is that on occasion, the little cutter thing comes off and that's the blade. You replace the blade as you need it. And I think I have one or two replacement blades somewhere. Don't know where I put them. Hopefully they're in this bag. So I just, it fits in the two and a half gallon bag and then I just folded it in half, but it can't zipper. So I'm gonna also put that in the pocket with the um, uh, cutting board since that's all kind of cutting stuff. Now I have a metal um, ruler and the reason I got a metal one is because I had a wood one at one point and it broke. So the metal one is less likely to break. So I have that. I'm gonna stick that in the same pocket because it's all the tall stuff. Um, that I need to go through. Now I have lots of Dollar Tree or um, Walmart doll, um, dollar type pencil boxes. Um, this is where the other paper cutter is. So, and this one is cutting supplies. So this is where the other blade is for my paper cutter. This is where I have some extra big scissors. I have my wheel for cutting paper. Uh, I have some scissors that cut zigzag. And I have three, because it came in a three pack of these Dollar Tree X-Acto type knives. I have an actual real X-Acto knife, but that stays in the van in a little cup on my shelf where my um, food stuff is. Because occasionally I do pull it out and use it for stuff, cutting open packages and stuff. So as you can see, the box is not completely full. And then I have this other box that has um, some whiteout. A secondary X-Acto knife, which should probably go in here. I don't know why it's not in here. Let's put it in there. Uh, a stapler. Staples. A staple remover. A big eraser. 
um, and uh, two more of these um, whiteout things. So three whiteout things total. Now, I've got to condense these items into one box because I do not need two of these boxes. And because this is the newer box and the neater looking box, I think I want to choose this box. So I'll go through later um, in the video and condense those into one box. I'm just showing you what I all have right now. This zipper pouch, um, which had a big hole in it and I didn't want to throw away because I needed a zipper pouch and I just put black duct tape on it, is full of rubber bands and paper clips. So there's a baggie of paper clips and then the whole thing is full of colored rubber bands. I can tell you that uh, of the time that I've spent in the van, I have used very few of these. So this might be something that's going. I have a journal that I started keeping back in January 2017. I didn't do the whole year. I didn't even do the whole month of January, but there are some personal items in there and I'm probably going to peel those pages out and shred them and get rid of this little journal because I don't need it. These two go together and what they are is my pogo printer. And this is a printer that I can print uh, pictures that look like this, two by three, and they're stickers. So I do want to keep that, but I think I will be moving this into the electronics bag because it is an electronic. And a lot of times when I go to the library, I only bring in my electronics bag and not my crafting bag. And I wish I had this with me because I could be printing out pictures when it's not acting funky. Uh, this is the cord that goes with it. So I'm going to move that over and just toss it in the electronics bag for later. So that's a little space that I'm giving myself in this bag. Um, I have a three hole, a, a mini three hole punch. And the reason I have a mini three hole punch is because I have a mini three hole binder. I do want to keep this binder. And the reason I want to keep this binder is I love this binder. I haven't really been using this binder, but I want this binder to be my work binder uh, or my secondary work binder because I also have a traveler's notebook that I got on Amazon and I'll put the link for this uh, with my affiliate link with it in the description box below. But I want this one to be my um, portable journal slash calendar slash contact info, that kind of thing. And this one I want to be able to go into more detail with lists, details of videos I plan on doing, um, reminders to myself that require more thought and details. There's, like I said, there's some things that I'm thinking about doing. They might not happen now. They might not happen till the summer, but I want to be able to have a place where I can put all those ideas. And so I do want to really start using this on a regular basis. So I'll keep the three hole punch because, um, when I get paper, Sometimes I use um, just color paper, or if I buy just regular notebook paper, the regular size, I'll cut it down and then I can hole punch it to the right size. So I will keep this. So this I am going to keep in my crafting binder because and I'm going to put it in the big pocket as well, but not in that little pocket with the tall items. So that's going to go there. This is a poetry journal that I've had for a long time. And there are some poems in it, not very many. I think maybe only five or 10 pages worth. So um, what I'll do there is I will tear those pages out and um, put them in this binder because the, with this big thick binder, I can make sections and use dividers and I can put those journal pages from the little journal and the pages from here torn out and put them in the binder. And that gets rid of two notebooks. Here I have some watercolor paper. However, I do not have any watercolor paint. <laughs> so I think I'm going to cut maybe 10 pages um, out of this and um, put that in the binder as well and have a section for watercoloring or, or um, drawing or doodling. Um, I might even be able, because the pack is not super thick, I might even be able to take the whole pack and put it in the binder or at least half of it and uh, use this as refill paper for later so I can put this somewhere away after I tear the pages out. And I think a half a sheet 
So if I take each page and fold it in half, let's tear one out. And it's really thick paper. So a half a sheet cut in half should fit into this binder. Let's see. And this whole binder is going to get redone. Yep. So I ha each one of these sheets can be cut in half to give me two sheets. And that'll be good doodling paper um, if I just want to randomly draw stuff. And then when I do get watercolors, I'll still be able to watercolor on it and have small little watercolors. So that's another project. Um, this notebook, I really, really love this notebook, but I think I have to give up on it. <laughs> um, it's what's called a happy planner. If you're not familiar with it, you'll have to Google it, go on YouTube. There's tons of videos. So it's a, it's a Frankenstein happy planner. So basically the only thing happy planner in here are the rings. I, and the rings aren't really happy planner rings. They're arc A R C rings from staples because I don't like the hearts in the middle of the happy planner ones. So it started as a mini happy planner. Um, and it's been Frankenstein because I really enjoy therapeutically and craftingly making dividers and pockets and such for this happy planner. So now that I'm not using it as a happy planner anymore or a planner at all, I'm going to cut it, um, cut it apart. And I'm going to Frankenstein some of these pieces that I've made for it and use in the other binder. This red binder. Because it's, it's smaller than it, but some of the things can be used in it. So I will be deconstructing this and using parts of it in here. As I said, this whole notebook is going to be completely gutted and redone. And that will be a separate video that I will do um, once all of this rearranging is done. So... No more of that. I will probably keep these rings, but these rings, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings can be kept in a little baggie inside the craft bag. So if I ever want to go back to this style of um, uh, binder or planner again, I'll have the rings to start it over. And let's see. So these are the last two items in the extra craft bag. It's now empty. And these two will probably be the hardest to go through, even though I don't open them up very often. But the items in here have been downsized a couple of times. <laughs> so sad. So this one is my um, um, beads slash jewelry making, which I haven't been doing any of. And this one is my sticker storage. So all of these little mini... Um, photo albums from Dollar Tree are filled with stickers. Stickers beyond stickers beyond stickers back when I was using a planner full time. And then I've got some cards, which I really need to start sending cards out to people. And I have a couple of little field note notebooks that I might use inside of this. Perhaps, maybe, I don't know. So these two are going to be the hardest to go through because I've gone through my stickers so much. I'm going to tell you right now, I used to have three of these full of stickers. And so to go down to one was a big job because I was at two for a long time and then I went down to three. So to try and go down even further with the stickers, I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if it's going to happen. But these are just makeup bags from Dollar Tree. One dollar for a cute little makeup bag. Now, for the jewelry, I haven't made jewelry in forever. Now, um, so the beads that I have here, I'm probably going to just let go. The only thing that I will keep for the jewelry, and I'm going to have to find, um, or I can put in my jewelry box that I have, are the little um, earring. Um, okay, let me just show you these things. Because on occasion, an earring falls apart or comes loose and you need to replace the little ring and the little um, hook that goes into your ear. So I'll probably keep those. But these few little beads I have, I'm not going to keep. I will also keep these two because they were already they're necklaces I want to make. There's one. 
and here's the other. And so I'm going to keep those as well because I've been wanting to make a necklace out of um, two different necklaces out of these. I'm just going to have to find um, silver chains to put them on. I won't be doing any beading with it because I was going to do beading and then have that in the middle. I'm not going to do that now. Just going to find thin silver chains that I can put these on. So pretty much these two containers will be going except for the um, earring um, posts. And, and, and the jump rings, they're called jump rings, when you make them for necklaces and stuff. Now, the reason I really decided to do this while I was at Miss M's house is she's a teacher and I can give her some of this crafting stuff and so she could take it to school and if she has some kids that are really into crafting, then she can um, give that to them. I also bought, let's see, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four. I have five little froggies that I wanted to make a pair of earrings out of. So um, I thought I had six though. I guess I only have, why do I only have five? That's weird. So I'm going to make a pair of earrings. Uh, so with two, I can make earrings. And then with three, I can make um, a necklace. So I can have a frog earring and necklace set. I do have in this little baggie inside here, the um, quote unquote tools for making jewelry, the cutter, and the um, pliers. So I'll keep those, because when, even when I repair my own jewelry, I need those. Um, this is some necklace pieces that were given to me by a friend, and they're really kind of expensive pieces. Um, so these are some pineapples but they're made out of ivory, real ivory. And I don't know if I should get them appraised and sell them or continue to keep them and wear them because I could put them on a different, um, I could make earrings and necklace out of this too. Here's another necklace and I think this is jade, a jade necklace that I can start wearing, but I would like to find earrings to match it. And this is real, I'm dropping it pieces because it fell apart. It's a necklace that came apart, but it's real pearls. I forgot what kind of pearls these are, but they're real pearls. And they were, they belonged to her mother. And she knew that I made jewelry and liked um, earrings and necklaces. And so she gave these all to me. So these are um, things that go back to, uh, I think the ivory is really old. Goes back to the, um, where did she tell me? Like the... 50s or 60s so and this is just a mat these are two mats that I cut in half when you're doing your jewelry so your beads don't roll around they keep the beads steady now because I don't need two I'm going to just get rid of this one and fold this one up and use it and it can go inside the um it can go inside this bag with the tools so I'm gonna put the mat in first Fold it up, then put the cutters and pliers in. And the pliers are a round pair of pliers and a flat pair of pliers. Then I'll put the baggie of stuff that my friend gave me jewelry wise. Oops. Good. All right, so this is empty for now. All right, now to go through these items on the couch here that came out of the bag originally. So I think what I'm going to do is this baggie that has the cards in it, the stickers in it, the two field notes, and um, a planner band or a binder band, but it has Pac-Man on it, which I love because I have a Pac-Man Snuggie. And so I'm gonna put the jewelry in this. So here's the jewelry. Here are some of the earring uh, things, the findings. They're called findings. Findings and jump rings. I need more jump rings. And then I'm going to take the jump rings, the packet of what, four little jump rings that I have left, and put those in there. So I'll have to buy more jump rings. And now the jewelry is done that's all the jewelry i'm not taking any more stuff for jewelry oh i do have this um little bit left of stretchy clear 
uh, necklace twine stuff so I'll put that in there too just in case okay so that's the jewelry in there uh, all right now this other oops this cute little bag has all of my glues glue in it glue and glue type items so and tape and tape so things that adhere <laughs> so I use a lot 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 and if you have school children get them some of this Elmer's extreme I will put the link on the description box Elmer's extreme glue stick this stuff sticks like nobody's business I will not be getting rid of it at all I don't use hot glue anymore so I'm gonna let that go and I can you can buy hot glue guns at Dollar Tree uh, I have yet to use the E6000, but I have some upcoming things that I know about that I'm going to hold on to. Um, I don't really use the tacky glue, so I'm going to let that go. This is an itty bitty little glue stick, and this is the second one. So I, and it's got a pen on one end. This one is a pen and it's in blue ink, and it's got a baby little glue stick on this end. Now I already have one, so I'm not going to use this one. I kept the other one in my, um, where is it? In my bag here that I use, that I've been using, and I'll show it to you. Where is it? And I kept that one because its pen was black ink, and I prefer black ink um, when writing in a journal over blue ink, whereas I normally do like blue ink. So, but I'm gonna tell you what. In this baggie, I'm considering getting rid of this whole pack of pins that I rarely use. So I would have room for the second glue stick. So I'm gonna leave that in there instead of getting rid of it. Cause I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this pack of pins. They're really extra fine point drawing pins. And I got them online, so I'll put a link to that on the bottom too. Lots of links on the bottom. So go back, get my train of thought here. All right. So, um, I've got some Dollar Tree Mod Podge, which I love Mod Podge. Oops. I love it to death, but it's not something I use on a regular because I don't really have a place for things to dry. So this one's a little less than half and this one's brand new. So I'm going to get rid of the half one and keep the brand new one for if I do need to use one, I'll have it. Then I've got this itty bitty glue pen. So anything with fine lines that need to be glued. And then I've just got a, a thing of regular old clear tape. Sometimes you just need plain old clear tape. So because all that is in this bag, look at all the room I have now. So what I think I'm going to do is take the two boxes I was talking about. And I think I'm going to put those items, the stapler, it, it, it adheres things together, and that's what this bin is. The staples that go with the stapler, the staple remover, and I'm gonna put those in there, and in the box that has the cutting items, I'm gonna put them in this one. So the big scissors, the zigzag cutting scissors, the rolling cutter, um, I have a crochet hook, um, I kept this because I was helping a friend do crochet braids at one time and sometimes you just need a crochet hook. So I kept it and I do not need three of these Dollar Tree cutting X-Acto knives. So I'm going to let those go and keep my original X-Acto knife. Plus I have another X-Acto knife in the van, like I said, and then my extra cutting blade for the cutting, um, cutter, paper cutter. So those will all go in there. Now I have an empty box that I can get rid of. So I've got this box. Okay. All right. We are downsizing. Yay. All right. Okay. Now these are the items that came out of the bag red bag sorry if the sound is coming and going I hope it's not oh I've been throwing things down on the cord hopefully you guys still hear me 
Now I'm going to take a look at these things that were already in the planner, I mean the crafting bag, and see what I can get rid of, what I can um, put together, downsize, what have you, um, consolidate. So this, which I know I want to find a pretty bag for, and I might have a bag here that I can use. I think I can use that red bag. This is the journal that was made for me by Soaring Progeny. Progeny. The handmade journal that she made me. And I have been keeping up with it. I don't write anything in it. I've been just putting mem um, memorabilia things in it. So pictures and um, papers from places that I visit and stuff like that. So this has been my traveling memorabilia journal. And since I was gifted some bags for um, selling things and I don't sell things this big, I'm going to use that, one of these bags, because I do not sell t-shirts, um, I don't carry t-shirt stock. Oh shoot, it won't fit. Man, I need the next size up. It won't fit, no, look at that, won't fit. Okay, that's not going to work. So we've got to find a bag that will fit this journal. It's been a challenge for me is to find a bag that I actually like that fits this journal. And this would have been a perfect bag had it been the next size up. So um, these were gifted to me. And I've been looking for the receipt because I can't find it because I want to get more of the small ones for the earrings and the stickers because I don't need these big ones. So I think I might be doing a giveaway to a business that could use them. Maybe, I don't know, I haven't quite decided. So, hmm, do I have an empty bag that I can use? What's in here? Nope, that won't work. Oh, look what I found, some little, little clothespins that I do not need or use. <laughs> this will be perfect if it were smaller. That's just too big. Like putting that bag in there, I mean that book in there, it's just, it's always a lot of trial and error, right? Okay, we will have to wait on that. All right, so let's hold off on that. We'll have to put it back in its plastic bag. Okay, so I have several pencil pouches here. And let's see what's in them. So I took those pens and tossed those so I don't need those. So the pens I'm keeping, pens slash pencils that I'm keeping are, um, so the two pens that have glue sticks on them, the black one and the blue one, keeping that. I'm keeping a pair of scissors, extra skinny long scissors. I keep those in there. I have two highlighters. I like writing in highlighters. So I have orange and a pink highlighter. I have a bluish color Sharpie, which I really don't use anymore. So let's let that go. And then I have a black two-sided Sharpie. One's a medium point, one's a fine point. I love that one, keep that. Then I have a Pentel black ink medium and a Pentel gel medium black and then I have a white pen because sometimes if I buy color paper or black paper they do make black paper and they do make colored paper like neon colors I like to write in white and then I have one of my two four-in-one pens which I love and then I have this pencil pouch here which has because I love to color and I have a coloring book um, well, I don't have it anymore. I actually got rid of it because I wasn't using it, but I'm going to be getting a small coloring book, adult coloring book. I just got to find a little one. I have the twist up crayons and I like the twist up crayons because they feel more grown up to me. And also, um, if I break a crayon, I don't have a crayon sharpener. So to me, it just made more sense to keep the twist up crayon. And I love this, um, pouch. So I'll be keeping the crayons in this green pouch and I really wish it was red or even yellow or something brighter. I don't really like green that much, but I love this pouch. It was the last one at the time that I bought it that um, Dollar Tree had. It was the only one they had that has the elastic on it so you can put it over a book. So I wanna find a coloring book, an adult coloring book that's this size that I can slip these crowns onto. So for now, 
because I took the other packet of um, pins out, this will actually fit into this pink pouch. And if you want to know where I found this pink pouch, I got this at Staples and I paid too much. I normally don't pay more than a dollar because I get all my pencil pouches and pencil boxes at Dollar Tree or Walmart where they're 97 cents or a dollar. But this I got at Staples and it was like three or four bucks. But I really love this pencil pouch, this pink pencil pouch. It's really nice. It feels really good. I love that it has this mesh pocket in the front because I do like to write in pencil a lot of times. And so I have two pencils with my sharpener in the front pouch. I love writing in pencil. Always have. All right. So the pencil pouch, I'm going to put in the front pocket here. Now, these things I need to sort through. Well, let's put in things that I don't need to sort through. Oh, wait, where did I come up with these? Uh, I didn't realize I had these Sharpies here. So I have two Sharpies, two black ones. I don't know. Oh, you know what? These are paint Sharpies. These are not regular Sharpies. So there was a project that I'm planning on doing where it requires paint projects. I mean, painting. And these are like a paint pen for outlining. So I'm going to put those in the pencil um, loops. I remember now why I have those. Someone gave those to me for a project that I was doing. Okay. All right, so those are going to go in the pencil loops. Those will be kept. Um, so in this little pouch uh, pocket, I had short little baby scissors. Those are going to go back in. I had a corner punch rounder for rounding the corners of pages so they look nice and neat. See how, see how this has a rounded corner and not a squared off corner? You could do that. So I'm going to keep that. I like that in my journal when I do stuff. I like to have nice rounded corners. I have an extreme glue stick. So it's readily available. And I had a um, single hole puncher. So all of that was in that little pocket and that's where those will live. That's where they will stay. I know where they are. I can get to them quick. Boom, bam, boozy, no problems. This journal will go with that journal for now. All right, anything else that doesn't need to be gone through and sorted through that I can go? Cards. All right, so I have cards. Um. I got these cards from Miss M. Aren't they pretty? No, these cards are from Judy, not Miss M. These are from Judy. So I love cards, especially girls with pretty black girls on them. <laughs> so I'm going to keep these cards. They're going to go into this pocket. I have a little pocket within this second pocket. So cards are going to go there. And I have some handmade cards from a coworker, plus some really cute cards that I bought a long time ago at a thrift shop that I kept. They made the cut of the card downsizing. I used to have a big old thing of cards. Had to get rid of them. Uh, the field notes, notebooks. I'm going to put them in the front pocket here. They're not in use right now, and they might not be until I, um, they're not going to be until I get that binder organized. Index cards, and not just regular index cards, but multicolored. Those will also go with the cards. Um, washi tape. If you are not familiar with washi tape, I don't know how to make you familiar. Google it. <laughs> Google it and YouTube it because it's a really cool thing. Now, I don't use much of it, and I probably could get rid of some of the washies that I have in here, but considering my washi tape collection was a four or five times bigger than this, I've done pretty well, I would say. So that's going to go next to the pencil pouch. Stickers. These are the only stickers that I have. I don't have any more stickers. Like I said, I had three of these photo albums of stickers, and now I don't have any. So those are going to go, and I've got to sit the backpack down like this to get stuff to cooperate. So the stickers are going to go next to the washi tape in the front medium pocket we'll call the front pocket the medium pocket so there's a front small pocket and a front medium pocket and then a regular big pocket which i'm running out of space already it is what it is right all right okay so i think i've shown you guys these before but i make what's called um they just call them tags let me bring the camera closer okay 
So I make tags and it's one of the things that I do as far as crafting, as far as paper. I don't do journals anymore, so I just do tags. They're quicker, they're easier, they're smaller. And now I have stickers for my tags, little teeny tickers, tickers, stickers for my tags, thanks to Maggie, which are in the car. I'll have to go get those later. But I have little small stickers that I'll be putting on tags to give away when I meet people. So I went out to the car and I got the stickers I was talking about for the tags. Uh, so let's go back to the tags and I can show you the little stickers. So um, I make tags with scrap scrapbooking paper, which I have scrap scrapbooking paper here. I have scraps of scrapbooking paper here. And then I have some scraps and different sizes of scrapbooking paper here. So all of this kind of needs to be consolidated into one something or other. And for the tassels and stuff on the tag, I have just been finding and buying all kinds of little ribbon and scraps. Uh, like this is an old pair of shoestrings. I find ribbon at the Dollar Tree. I find it at yard sales. Um, if it comes, if a ribbon comes on a gift someone gives me, I save it. So that's what's in this um, pencil pouch is just random ribbon and string for the tassels on the tags. So I just, again, make them in different sizes. There's no rhyme or reason to it. If I find a card with a quote on it that I like, I save it. And um, they're all different colors, different, you know, there's no pattern to them. Just all kinds of scrap paper that I've had and still have a little stash of. And like this one's really big. I love tea, so I made this one. A cup of tea solves everything. Uh, and it says, this is what makes me happy. So um, you're my cup of tea. You know, just very random. So now I have, um, and if you've ever heard me shout out Maggie on a live video, Maggie found a company that makes um, stickers in different sizes. So she gave me, she bought me, I think it's like a thousand in here maybe. Mm, it doesn't say, but there's a ton of them. So she bought me some little um, stickers with my logo. So I'll be going through on um, some of the bigger ones. Like this is kind of small, so the sticker would kind of take up the whole space, unless I cut the circle. I could cut the circle and put it on. But so I'll be going through and putting stickers on the tags. And then those will be things that I give away when I meet you, my Vanner family. You'll have a little thing to remember me by. And so these are all the done ones that I keep in this pouch. So I have plenty of done ones that need to be, um, some of them don't have tassels on them. So I'll need to put tassels on, put a sticker on all of them. And um, like when you mail, um, when you send me a letter or a note or a card or just some encouraging words via um, snail mail, I can send you a tag back. So um, don't forget if you do send me snail mail, send it, um, put a little uh, self-addressed envelope in it. You don't have to stamp it, I'll pay for a stamp, but put a self-addressed envelope in with it so that I can send you something back and make sure it's a pretty good size um, envelope you know regular size envelope not a little teeny envelope anyway because I have cars of different sizes but I do have a few big ones so that's why I say don't stamp it because if I want to send you a card that's a little bit big I don't want to waste your stamp but anywho and if you are wondering I still have earrings I still have the black afro lady earrings I have one Two, three, four, five, six, seven pair left if you want a pair. And I also have the big logo stickers if you want to buy one of those. I also have gotten made and I'm trying to carry on my person some business cards, but I got them made in the square size instead of the regular business card size. So it's got all my social media info on there and my email all that jazz and I started with a small box because I'm thinking of possibly changing my email and getting crystal vanner instead of the no the nomadic natural so these are the small bags that I was sent with those big bags and I really wish all the bags were this size because I do not need the big bags and mm, it's unfortunate but I'm going to contact the company and see if I can return those and get the small ones we'll see Maybe a pack of the really big ones and then a pack of smalls. Anyway, back to what we were doing. All right, so this pencil pouch has 
post-it notes in it, which I love these post-it notes. And I, this is downsized. So I love post-it notes, especially ones that have lists, like a checklist and lines or just lines, period. I really need to find some more of this post-it note and I can't remember where I bought it, but it looks like notebook paper and I love this post-it note. But I love, um, and I find them at yard set, I mean, um, thrift, oh gosh, Dollar Tree normally, or Hobby Lobby sometimes, or Michaels sometimes. But yeah, I love notes, post-it notes with lines mostly. But not all of them have lines. Like this one is a, I love this one, it's a t-shirt. This one you can't really write a whole lot on, it's a big thumbs up. But they're neat, they're cute, I like them. So that, um, this pouch will stay. And I will not be buying any more post-it notes until these are gone or until I get rid of more because this is the only pouch that has post-it notes and if it can't fit in here, then I can't have it. That's kind of my motto. I give myself a certain amount of space for something and it has to fit in there. And if it won't fit in there, can't have it. So the post-it notes are also gonna go into this medium pocket. So now the biggest thing that I've gotta figure out is the scrapbooking paper. Now I found, um, this was, someone gave me this pen. So this is another four in one pen, but it has a hook on it, which I love. It's a four in one pen. So when that one's out of ink, I probably won't be able to find ink for it because it's short. All right, so this is the box I said I was keeping. All right, where can I put it? <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna put it in the medium pocket, but I'm gonna put it in the bottom. So I'm gonna put these things, <clears throat> pull these things out because the pocket is a little bit deep. At least it's taller than the stuff that I have. Oh, you know what I forgot to put in there? My handy dandy hole punch needs to go in there too. I forgot about that, there we go. All right, so this box, We'll go in that medium middle pocket lengthways and then the pouches that I had in there will sit on top of it which is good because now I can actually see the pouches before they were kind of low down in there it's a lot of finagling when you have limited space a lot of rearranging, a lot of resorting, a lot of reevaluating what you need and don't need and what you have and don't need to have or what you have don't really use but and could use something else instead or how can something work differently or better or conveniently or you know just a whole lot of that when you live in small spaces. All right. These are my done tags and the papers that I need to sort through and these are the tassels for said tags. I do have a box of chalk, which is gonna live on the side pocket because I do have a little something that I need chalk for. Um, and then I also keep a power cord for my phone, uh, Android power cord and a Android um, plug in the wall because just in case, which does not really happen at all, but just in case I decide to take this bag only and not the electronic bag, but I want to charge up my phone, then I'll have a charger, which does not happen really, like I said, at all, because I normally take the electronics bag in and never bring the crafting bag in, which is why I decided to go through the crafting bag because I was not using the items. All right, so now we have the um, bag with all the, um, what do you call it? Uh, what did I say, glues and stuff? So I'm thinking, even though I know that this is jewelry, I am trying to decide if I wanna put it in here and consolidate this or put this stuff in here. I know it's mixing up two different things, but there's enough space in either thing for both. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do that just because I don't have room for both containers. So I've got to make some edits. So I'll put the jewelry stuff in this pouch here, like so. So that when I open up this makeup 
bag, the jewelry stuff that's in its small pouch. And then I can put the glues and the stapler in here. I think it's all gonna fit, let's see, let's hope. Let's hope. There's the stapler, put the glue sticks. And I really am gonna keep all three of those glue sticks. If anything I would get rid of, it would be the Mod Podge since I don't really use it. But I really like those glue sticks. And then here's the tape. And hopefully this is gonna zip up. Yay, it does. So now that all fits in there. Yeah, hopefully I'll have room in the bottom. So that's gonna go in the main big pocket in the very bottom. And I'm gonna move it over to the side so that there's room on the side for anything that I might wanna put in there. Okay, here's the notebook. So then now here's another empty container. And um, this actually might be a good container for the scraps of paper. So let's see how that works, okay? So these are the done ones. These are the tags, I mean the tassels. So I have this baggie with scraps of paper in it, but I can't zip in it. So why not take those out? Get rid of the baggie and let's see if they'll fit in here. I think they do. Yeah, it looks like they might. Okay, those fit in there. This has more scraps of paper. Thinking if I zipper it up, push the air out of it, can I leave it in its baggie and put it in here? I think I can. Yep, that fits. Now this is the last Ziploc baggie I have of paper, but it's more than just paper. Um, some of it is scraps of paper, but like this is, um, you, if you go to Target dollar stop, spot, these can be used for so many different things, but these are plastic pockets, adhesive pockets. So they, um, they stick and they're a pocket. So if you need clear pockets for anything, and they stick on almost anything, almost anything, and you can't hold big heavy things, but if you wanna put um, a card in there or a picture in there to keep it protected, you can. Um, let's see. This was on a handmade card that someone gave me and I just loved it because it's a kimono and they made this by hand and I kept it. This was a, um, what's called a pocket letter that someone sent me. So she and I did a pocket letter exchange and there's an actual letter in here and this one has a letter and you can pull it out and read it. And uh, I sent her one too. And they're little cute little gifts, little doodads and things that I can use on my, um, which we'll call it on my um, tags. So I'm gonna put those in there because I can reuse some of those. I'll keep the letter, but I can use those. Here's another um, T, put that into this. I know this video is really long, but this is kind of the stuff that I do when you don't see me when I'm not traveling. These are kind of things that I do. It's kind of part of real life. Um, this was the map, and this needs to go into the big journal, so I'll keep that there. And these are some little items that someone gave me, and it's funny because for a long time I had them laying outside because they were a smoker, which, oh, um, <laughs> and um, it smelled like smoke, and so I was going to use these to make tags. So we exchanged junk journals. And so these are some of the things that she gave me in the junk journal. So these, I had them laying outside. So like for every, every day for three days, I think I laid them outside so they could air out. And now they don't smell like cigarette smoke anymore. But um, they, it wasn't a heavy smell of smoke, but it was enough to make me like, ugh. So, all right, so a couple of these things I don't need and probably won't use. And uh, these are cool. Some pages from an old book. 
and it looks like it's an old dictionary which is pretty cool so I'll be using those into some of my tags so we can slide those in as well ah, empty 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 and they all fit in here so this is more than enough stuff to make oh gosh I could make hundred a hundred tags with this if not more uh, especially if I don't make huge tags definitely can make you know easy 100 150 tags so i don't need to be buying any more paper or scraps or anything for a long 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 time so this is um this is another small map it's smaller than this one that needs to go in the journal so i'm gonna open this baggie and put this little map and that's just going to go in the front of my journal this little itty bitty one and i'm just going to color in the states that i've been to and try and figure out the dates maybe and put the date in the uh, month and the year of when i visited that so that'll go into this big journal this is these are just some little keepsakes not sure what that is but that's scrap paper that scrap paper so this is when I had another journal uh, this is back in October of 2016 when Junie was little um, she was almost two months old and so I want to save this page and glue it into some journal or something and then I have some pictures of when I visited um, the second time that I visited her so those are little keepsakes for now I'm not gonna put those anywhere and um, this tag, I don't think I'm going to use on anything or this, I mean that, not tag, but you know, whatever that thing is, but there's a couple of pieces of scrap. So those, these little keepsakes, I'll put them in with the tags, but they won't be used for tags. They'll go into my own personal journal. Oh, these were scraps. Those can go in. And this is a library card for Albuquerque. When I was in Albuquerque, I had to get an actual library card. Most libraries don't make you get cards. They just give you a guest pass for the day to use your Wi-Fi. But in Albuquerque, I had to actually get a library card. So I'll put that in my um, journal as well as like a souvenir. And I'll probably put it in one of those plastic pockets so that if I do go back through that part of Albuquerque and need to go to the library, I can pull it out of the pocket and use it. So that's going to go in here. Man, this bag is full. So, hmm. Notebooks might not be able to be housed in here. <laughs> so, I might not be able to put the notebooks in here, just the crafting items. So I might, I might be able to keep that blue and white bag after all. And just put the notebooks in there. All right. All right, so this is the um, tags to use. I mean, the scraps to use for tags. These are the done tags. Those go in there. And these are the tassels for tags. So those go in there. And everything fits. It's tight, but it fits. And now I don't have two crafting bags. I now officially only have one crafting bag, which is what I've been trying to get down to for a while. And it's fat. Look at it. It's heavy, too. Ooh, it's heavy and fat. Now, I didn't put anything in this very front pocket because at one point, that's where this journal lived in this front pocket. But now that I've got these two, these three, um, um, jur uh, a journal, a work and social media notebook, and then a planner type traveler notebook, since those three things are going to be um, out, I don't need them. I don't need this pocket anymore. So what I'll do is when I go visit places or I have ticket stubs to events, I'll stick those in this front pocket that need to go into the journal. So that was an adventure. <laughs> it really, really was. Whew. It really, 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 really was. All I can say is this is a really long video. I thank you guys for watching and just going through the process of how I clean out things. Um, now my electronics backpack is, doesn't need to be cleaned out. It never did. So I have very few electronic items. So 
that backpack will will be the same that it is. I will just take everything out and clean it out, you know, make sure there's no papers or anything in there that doesn't need to be in there. But um, other than that, this was the biggest job I had, which is why I started with it, because I knew I would be tired afterwards, <laughs> especially having driven uh, almost three hours and then just come sit down right away and do this. But I just thank you again for watching. Continue to watch, continue to like, continue to subscribe, and please email me at thenomadicnatural.com Anytime, if you have a question, if you have a thought, a concern, some words of encouragement, or um, want to share your story with me of your lifestyle, be it a nomadic lifestyle or some other kind of an alternative lifestyle, or just want to chat. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.